Meantime, first responders rushed into the chaos after Sunday's mass shooting, not knowing if an active shooter was still on the scene. As Rachel Wolf reports, they broke protocol to save lives. Uh, we were the first engine arriving. Captain Eric Chase stepped off his fire engine and was surrounded by chaos. Mass panic, uh, people running everywhere, as you can imagine, um, people uh, looking for cover, um, mourning with their family and friends that were down. Bodies on the ground. After a barrage of bullets left six dead and 12 injured, firefighters typically have to wait for an all clear from law enforcement, but Chase knew crews had to act fast. That was probably the biggest stress that I was uh, dealing with in my own mind was, uh, yeah, was more shooting going to happen um, from the crowd, not knowing who had been shooting or, you know, where that came from. Firefighters work with police officers to treat the wounded, not knowing what would happen next. Chief Gary Loesch defends the decision. It, it was a call that had to be made. So did your crews break protocol by going in before you got the official all clear? We did what we had to do. Uh, we needed members to get in there, start um, life-saving measures on the, the, all the different uh, victims that were there and get them transported to hospitals. In all, five trucks and ten medic units were called to save lives in one of the worst mass shootings in Sacramento history. Authorities recognized early that behavioral health teams were needed to counsel first responders. They're seeing things, they're seeing uh, victims down that, you know, the age of their, some of their children or, or their family members. So uh, it's, it it's tough on them. It does. Because they like the community, are still trying to process what happened. Uh, I'm going to say it hasn't sunk in yet. Honestly, I haven't even been home yet since it happened, so uh, we'll see. Wow, that's really